How you guys doing today? We have an incredible unboxing from my good friends V Diac Tool. This is the V200, a fully bi-directional Bluetooth automotive scanner that you can link it up with your Android and your iPhone. They claiming that you can use this tool as a J2534 as well with the latest vehicles protocols and also one of my best features, lifetime free subscription. So let's open it up. Let me see. Oh, we have another one over here for a giveaway. So if you want to win the D200 from VDIAP2, all you need to do is remember, like, and subscribe. So welcome to this new episode of Hyper Solution and Nuxus. Let's see the VDIAP2. Oh, I, I love this type of cases because if, it, if it's a portable scan tool, it's what actually what makes us great. All right, let's see. Here it is. Here, okay. USB-C type long cable. Now it's a long cable for one simple reason. Remember, J2534. <laughs> so you can able to connect this unit. Let me see. It also comes with an, oh, excellent. Look, an adapter from USB-C to USB-A as well. Let me see, let's open it up. I was, I was actually expecting a bigger unit, but check it out. Oh, it's heavy, so it's good. <laughs> It has this cover where you're going to connect the USB-C cable directly to the computer. Guarantee with tested quality. It also has, let me see, vehicle communication interface. Well, it has the instructions manual, everything, which is great. How am I going to use this app? I'm going to have to go to here to the app and says, get in started, download the app. So I'm going to go to the uh, v diac 2 v diac 2 Let me see. It should appear here somewhere. Oh, here it is, here it is. VDIA Tool Utilities. I think it's this one. Yes, get the app. We're gonna open up the uh, allow, allow everything. I'm gonna have to create an account, of course. Mailbox, password. Okay, once you enter the app, it says you haven't added a device yet. Please keep, click this button to activate. Scan to activate. Oh, there it is. Please insert the device into the vehicle's OBD2 port, making sure the device is fully inserted and not loose. Start the engine. Let's connect it in the vehicle quickly. So using the flash devices, because I'm gonna connect it right here into the OBD2. Connect, let me switch on. Connect devices. D200 is right here in my menu. Uh oh, yep, we are officially connected. So updates, let's see what we got. I'm gonna have to update, of course, everything. So I wanna see Diagnosis, Toyota, Peugeot, Fiat, Isuzu, Skoda. Oh, look, it has BYD as well, very nice. Bike motor, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna work with this type of brands, but it, regardless, take a look, the speed that I'm downloading everything, but it's pretty much exciting that has this amount of even Lamborghini. What? Mercedes-Benz, it's 680 megabytes compared to the Volvo, which is just 55. Diagnostic software of the Volkswagen, 1.31 gigabytes. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, this has a lot of functions. All right, check this out. Even you can diagnose the Bugatti with this app. Wow, this is good to be incredible. Let me see. Sherry. All right, let's see. Control unit reset. Citroën. Ready. All right. Done. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna go. Let's see if it does the auto scan functions. All right, check this out. It recognizes the VIN number one time. What? Daewoo uh, GM. Well, this is actually a Daewoo or GM. It's actually a Holden, but let's keep it with GM. Holden, Barina Spark, 2013. All right. Tool is turn on the ignition switch. I think automatic scan, it means uh, health report. There it is. Okay, so the health report, the scan tool is reading. Oh, I have a body control. Let's see, I have a diagnostic trouble code here. I'm not sure what's going on. So this is a health report. Is The vehicle is, the scan tool is reading absolutely all the modules. Let's see what we got here. Right tail lamp circuit, short battery, right tail lamp. I wonder, let me see. This one is on. Well, the last one, the left one is on. Let me see. My tail. Looks like the reverse is not working. That's good to tell anyway. Engine control module right here. 1.2, automatic. All right, read ACU, read diagnostic trouble code. I had a problem, I had a problem with the cooling fan the other day. I wanna see if I can activate it over here. A actuator test. All right, give me a second, actuator test. Cooling fan. Okay, let's see if this is true. Come to the engine, let's see. 
I love this. I love the special functions and the activation functions. So what I'm going to do is check it out. What I'm going to activate is the cooling fire relay number one and three, two, one. On. Perfect. All right, because I had a problem the other day that the, the connection, well, it's a vehicle over 10 years old, so it's kind of given, it should, should be normal. You have to service the connectors eventually. The cooling fan relay number two, which is the high speed. I'm going to check it right now. Three, two, one, on. Yep, working perfectly. Thank you so much. The other function that I might have here is, let me see, the AC compressor clutch relay, which is this one. Let me see. On in three, two, one. All right. It working perfectly. All right. What I'm doing is active test, testing the units that you are able to activate it just using your phone. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. Let's see, fuel system, EVAP system, engine controls, ignition relay, thermostat, engine speed throttle, camshaft, fuel control loop status, generator, instrument panel indicator, misfire graphic, starter relay. Now, now hold on, are you saying that you can able to start the vehicle from here? Let's see. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just testing the starter only with this. I'm not gonna lie, look. Nobody's doing anything. Check up, check up. Don't say that I'm doing any kind of tricks. I'm going to go now. It says live data. I'm going to start the engine. All right. Uh, it's really you information. Give me a second. All the numbers, all the specifics, all the, even the software as well, which is great. Engine control module. I'm going to go where it says live data. Engine data. Now with the engine data, I might be able to see every single one of the, the duty cycle, the oxygen sensors. I'm actually looking at the fuel trims over here. Let me see, fuel economy, EVAP system, tank pressure sensors, oh, very nice. Let's see, remaining fuel in the tank, ignition timing. Okay. Oh, let's go to the transmission control module. Okay, live data, actuator test, clutch pressure, valve one, valve three, and valve two. Pressure control cylinder valve, shift transmission gear. So what I'm seeing is that you have the active tests as well. Let me see. I'm gonna go to the Nostra Trouble report. Okay, so it's telling me that you can, you can actually, more information, you can actually perform over here a, some sort of a data of the vehicle even you can input the plate you can put the the information of the diagnostic of the diagnostic report preview let's see all right so this is the report that you might gonna give your customer or for yourself when you're doing a full scanning of the vehicle they give you all the all every single uh, module that it's described over here and the specific of each one of the uh, diagnostic travel code beautiful eh? you can actually save it Email it to your customer or keep it for yourself. It tells you absolutely everything. Holy, nice. Look at the steering angle. Can you see? There you go. That means that you can calibrate manually as well using the scan tool. All indicators in three, two, one. Everything. Did you guys know that every time that you're going to buy a vehicle, one of the first things that you need to do is come on over and check. Once you start the, the, the ignition, you should have engine, every single light, which is means that the computer actually woke up, okay? Come and check the fuel. All right, there it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase it. Increase, let me see. Increase 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. So, <laughs> So the fuel level, I can activate it as well, just using your phone. We already saw the functions, which is great. I'm gonna go here for what says application center. You can check some technical bulletins just by selecting the vehicle, the vehicle brand, look at all the brand, whatever, whatever bulletins this 
uh, software might have, vehicle year, and you, you, you will inquire for the bulletin, okay? Uh, that is a trouble called query, control system, fuel system, cooling system, da -da 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 -da. all right. Let's check for the sample uh, fuel system. So it's giving you every single diagnostic trouble code, which is pretty great. For example, diagnostic trouble 2635, fuel pump A low performance. It's telling you faulty fuel pump relay, faulty fuel pump, fuel pump harness is open or shorted fuel circuit. So what I'm saying here is that over here in the diagnostic trouble code query, you can check if you're having any problem with the diagnostic trouble code, you can come over here to the query and you will see some sort of an explanation, okay? Let me see lubrication, system, lubrication, well, practically everything. I'm gonna go now where it says special functions. Oil reset, ABS bleeding, BMS, by it's battery, battery management system, injector coating, tire pressure monitoring reset, throttle, everything. Let's see what we can do with the throttle over here. Australia, Holden. Uh, automatic detection, yes. all right. Learn functions, idle learn, all right. Learn, learn successful. That means with this cell phone scan tool from VDIAC tool, you can also perform the idle learn oil resets and these kind of special functions. Let me switch it on, let's see. <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent. Reset function, let's see what a throttle body LOL compensation reset. Okay, more special function. Let's see what all the special functions we have. Automatic detection. So this is about the throttle, air, power balance. I wanna see the power balance. All right, come on over here. Let me show you. This is going to be great. Come, 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 come. So, if you have a problem with a misfire with this type of engine, and, and it doesn't matter, some of the vehicles have this function, and then let's say you want to test performance of the fuel injector, performance of the ignition coil, if a cylinder is misfiring, come on over. I can, for example, cylinder one injector, I can, let me see, I'm going to disable. I'm going to enable again. There you go. I'm going to disable now cylinder number four, for example. No, no, let's go number three. Cylinder number three, which is disabled. All right. That means the injectors are working properly. Are you saying that with this VDIAC tool, Automotive Scanto, you can perform all these bidirectional functions? The answer is yes. So you have your cell phone and your Bluetooth portable automotive scanto with lifetime fixed encryption. That's probably one of the best that can get. The other function is that you can actually, as I told you before, you can use this VDIAC tool to connect it directly to your computer and use J2534, which means that you can perform update computer software, change and code any type of the vehicle's individual modules using the original software. So. My good friends from VDIAC Tool, the D200, they indeed made an incredible job with this. I'm gonna give away this one. All, that, all you need to do is like and subscribe and comment, Jose, I need a scandal. VDIAC Tool. If you want to learn more, stick around for all of this. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe.